15 freaking miles. Also, my voice is like gone right now, so I'm sorry. I have not done a 15 miler since my first marathon in 2021. And that tells me why I probably got hurt on my second marathon I did. But whatever, that's beside the point. I'm not getting hurt this marathon. I am doing everything right. I have a running coach. Like, I am doing everything I need to be doing. My nutrition, my recovery, I'm full sending. This was me trying out my running belt for the first time. Honestly, I did not like it. I know it should go on your hips, but literally would not fail my hips. This is the last bit of water for a bit. Today's podcast was was Andrew Huberman plus David Goggins. Fire combo, but this podcast was gnarly, honestly. Anyways, I kind of started at the top of Newport. Thanks to my girl, Jamie, I used this route of hers and it was so fire. Started at the top of Newport and kind of went all the way down the hill. Only stops I really had were at crosswalks where I literally couldn't run. First like actual stop for water was at mile 10. Also look at those Porsches, they were very cute. This is me walking into a diner full of people looking like this. <laughs> the thing about running though is like, it's so much easier to actually do the freaking run than just like think about it when you think about 15 miles you're like dude i can't do that then you just turn on a three-hour podcast and zone out and just realize this is going to be your life for the next three hours and somehow you do it after the 15 miles i literally laid on the grass in front of a hotel and called an uber i had to uber back to the top of my car once i got to the car i changed into the sweatsuit marathon is less than two weeks away but you know what i can freaking do this